welcome to Monday Moment. That, that those Moses died shortly after. Yeah. It doesn't work kicking if your body immediately. Hi, okay, so Kim had the job today, so she's going to tell us how it went. Hi. So. So guys, um, this is um, I think Tuesday. My sister decided to go and find out about the job. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Kim, but uh, if it wasn't so political. Of course, the vaccination is always good, but but now with all of you know the stuff we know is going on with this thing, you you don't even know what you want. Do you want it? Do you not want it? It's crazy. But anyway, she's going to find out. She's gone to um and Fisha and I think maybe U R N find out if they're still available because those places don't have too many uh, people. The lines are not crazy there. Yeah, then we'll see. Mom is so elderly, she was all of this and that, and we're always in hospital taking her. So I don't know. I see the wisdom in it, and then again, I'm still, I haven't really given it a serious thought, which is quite crazy, I know. But, um, yeah. Apparently, some guys are not re reacting negatively. Um, some guys from church, the pictures I showed you were some guys from church who came to pray for mom her, her, from her church and the pastor was saying okay him and his assistants they were telling us how they didn't react badly at all to it they got it and they did not react badly so i don't know i don't know it's such a there's so much politics to it We'll see. I'm going to finish mopping the house and then I can have a brief. I make lunch and then I can chill a little bit. I need to do some editing. Catch you guys later. Do they know you're here? All of mom's medicine. Mom's going to take a nap. She's finished watching the movie she was watching. Oh, so the nurse just left. I um. I feel so sleepy and tired because I woke up at around 3.33, mom called me after going to the loo, she wanted to eat. She just felt hungry at that crazy hour, so I warmed her food and um, she wanted it mashed. It was a very clear request that she had, but she ate, she finished it, which was something. And um, yeah, so after that I can sleep. I can go back to sleep and we were expecting the nurse to come and do the dressing. The wound is healing. Very well, thank God. So that.
that's good. And um, what else was I talking to? It's um, I took a small clip of it being dressed. I don't know how you guys would feel about it, but I may or may not insist. I don't know, it might be too graphic, but we'll see. Yeah, so I am just feeling really tired today. I'm chilling with my sister. Yeah, I want to talk to you guys about this jab. Who has been getting jab feel for you guys? Tell me your experience. Have you been having it hard? Did you try and go for the jab when it's already run out? You know, and all of that stuff. God, let me sit nicely. I really need to remove this hair, you guys. It's just become a mask. It's so shaggy. Even when I put a lactivation stand on the washing, the stand itself is anyway. So, uh, tell me, how is getting the jab for you guys? Um, here, it had run out. They came, the new ones who were delivered, I think it was yesterday. My sister has been trying this whole week since Monday to go and get jab. Everywhere she goes, the queues are crazy. You go to number 200 and something, and they get to 80 something, and you're told, okay, guys, need the over. No, it's crazy. So today, again, she went to a different hospital. They were out. Then they went to another dispensary. Oh, so now she's there. She was 68 in the line. And she's saying, and they finally start. They had told her that it's a distribution center. So now that the new ones came in, they must land there. But there's no guarantee that they're going to be given out today. They might land and maybe start being sorted. Maybe it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to happen today. It's so crazy. So um, later on, she called and told me that um, it's happening. So they're in the queue. And after registering, it's moving pretty fast. So, yeah. Oh, it sounds like the, it's, it sounds like a chore, really. Anyway, so luckily, in the same breath, we were talking about it, and I mentioned it to the nurse as we were dressing mom, and he was like, why did you guys come to the hospital, you know? Yeah, so, we'll see. Yeah, even, yeah, I actually forgot, in one of the times when we were taking mom, we saw guys there in the queue waiting, you know, and then it just kind of slipped our minds. Should have been the first place we tried, actually. Anyway, so he said, um, this is now coming from, professional so you guys can have no fear he said that these the side effects are there day two can be tricky it's kind of messing guys up but that day two you just um, take paracetamol you know you may feel crazy but just take paracetamol and you'll be good so that was comforting i thought that was nice to know and to put out there for you guys in case anyone who is worried about the side effects some people are really being you know, are really getting under the weather with it. So that's a background of things that were put in you as well. To be fair, because I was thinking now if we both get sick, who who takes care of mom? She at the moment she still needs so much help, but that's actually why he said it's contagious. So my sister was is there. Hopefully it will be done today. Uh, in another two days or so she should be fine. She can recover from whatever test she might have. And then I can arrange my chat. So that's that for now. That's today that there is. I've been giving you updates on the road. <laughs> I find it so interesting. That stuff fascinates me. I always wonder. Did, I'm, I'm beginning to wonder, did I take the wrong career? I didn't expect to be that gripped by it, you know? Anyway, guys, um, it's a chill. Um, it's Thursday today, isn't it? I don't even know the date. The, it's 19th. I know the date, but what day is it? Um, yeah, it's Thursday. So I'm here editing. I just have to chill a bit. If the sleep comes well and good, I can do an hour. It will serve me well if I can do an hour. And then we get on with this day. That those was this died shortly after. Yeah. It doesn't work kicking your body immediately. Hi, okay, so Kim had the to job today, so she's going to tell us how it went. Hi. So, how was it? 
Well, Finally, then. first of all, how hard was it to get jabbed? Very okay, hard. don't put on the telly. Eh? Very hard because eh. um, there's a lot of... Why is it so hard to get this jab? Like out of stock? This, this, no, the first three weeks, last three weeks, mm. there were like 10 people per line anywhere. So people were not really going. I don't know whether they've done some marketing on the TV or the people have just realized... I guess they just... Uh, people awareness. Are, uh, people are dying too much. So like for me, that was the reason why. But yeah, because, yeah, that's what I wanted I to ask you next. Before, we were not talking about yeah, it, and, and then what suddenly changed? When four people died in one week, who I know, uh, who I know now personally, uh, eh, it became real. It became too real for me. I know people have been dying before, but this one was too much, too quickly, too soon. And then even from recently about the vi 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 variant, it's spreading too quickly to people. It's not like the others which take longer. Mm. This one is spreading too fast, so I panicked. So I thought, eh. Maybe I inquire from my friends, and then I found all my friends who were yeah, very hard like me. Was really, uh, I have all gotten, so I even now got more shocked. So it was just you and Grace. So I was like, Kenya, hey, am I the only one who hasn't got a kinabuna? I've already gotten. You know, people have gotten. So mm. I got a kinakaro who has said, Karo, Tony was saying she's never getting. Tony, no, what's over? Mm. Karo, got Sarah, it. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, anyway, my friends who are, people yeah. are not going to get. So I started thinking, okay, now maybe I need to rethink. It's not been an easy decision, but anyway. Mm been very difficult to get. The other day, I went to Aga Khan. It was over. Well, over. Then I was sent to Empusha. They told me to come the following day. That day, as I was on my way to Empusha, I alighted from the matter because those who went before me told me it was over. Then I went to Wangige. At Wangige, the place was full. People were there from 3 a.m. waiting for the job. There are people who what? had started going to Wangige from Monday. Tuesday. They are sent Wednesday. back. Even today in Westland, the people, who, some of the ones who are with in Wangige, I found them there and coming for the second day at Westland. Mm. They found out. So it's been a bit of a problem now because a lot of people are going. Mm. Which is and they were, the doors had been shut. Last week, yeah. That's the first week people, there were 800 doses, they all got finished. I remember that time when they were not so many, but 800, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got finished the oh. first week. Wow. They were even shocked because they were saying they've done in one week what they did, the other COVID is a solution, the uh, whole campaign. Uh, uh, so they are seeing people are now beginning to wake up, they're becoming more aware. If they did that in one week, mm. then now it means more people are, and for are real. Coming. Uh, even in Westlands today we reached around seven thirty. I was number sixty eight. Wow. Imagine. And we at reached seven thirty. Uh, and by the time we were finished, and it's because the guy was coding because he was not sure whether he should give out more because we didn't even know. There were no vaccines, people even didn't know whether there are going to be any. Mm. But people sat. A nurse came and told people to go away. She's not thinking that because it's a center that's distributing to all of Nairobi. Mm. You might not she doesn't be there. think that anything will be done. But few people Guys went, refuse. but majority of people just sat. Mm. So that's how that I don't know if desperate or fearful people are. Determined, yeah. Yeah, determined now to people are to get it. So it's not been easy to get. In fact I told myself after today I'm done. I'm not going yeah, to you even told me in the until morning. Until maybe another time. Mm. I'm done. I even told those me I'm done. But today we don't get it, I'm done. The other day at Agakana, I even talked to the Askari and she told me to, to take her number. I mm. called her. So I called her yesterday and told her I hadn't gotten. She called me today to tell me there's a dose. Oh, so I could nice. have gone at that time. Mm. She told me, come now. If you're able, just come. So now the doses are, have been spread. Yeah. Even at, the, at Westlands, we saw the Agakana vehicle, we saw the um, Avenue vehicle had come. Mm. To oh, the, from that place where you are. Yeah, in the morning. So you've heard it, guys. If you want a job, now is the time. Yeah. If you're within Nairobi, at mm. least. I don't know about now other places. Now Coptic has it. Yeah. We've gotten some information that Coptic has it. So now, after getting the job, because... So now, it's, yeah, how is it? Seen the, 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 what scary. happens is you first go and uh, you register. You can register online. There is the portal dot... Uh, uh, dot health dot gov. Mm, dot I'll insert it in the description. Mm. Why are you registering? So you register so that they can first of all have a record of everything you've gotten, so uh -huh. that they can know have you gotten the first or second jab. Mm -hmm. And then also because now it's what they used to say, like now immediately you are, whatever, they got a message to tell us when our next dose is, mm -hmm. so that you can be able to get the message of your next dose. Because mm -hmm. even today, people have been asked who is coming for the first dose and the second dose. So the second dose is a different dose. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming for the second dose, they'll see when they see in your ID. Well, you the first dose, so you can't get it again. Mm. So it's for purposes of recording and even for them to have statistics. As long as they can say 10,000 people have been yeah. inoculated, that's one. It's only one portal which you can do in the so whole everyone's day. details. So that day, there. When, yesterday, I mean, today when we got there, the nurse came and told us, while we are waiting for mm. the doses to come, she, the thing is written on the wall there. You, everybody goes to this site who has a good, who has a phone that can work, smartphone. Register yourself, it will make our work easier. So people started registering, we're helping each other there. 
those who are not able to read our smartphones, they were helped by the nurses later. Mm. So when the process started, as you know, we have registered. You go and then they check your, your, they ask you for your ID. And then they tell you now go and sit over there. And then you get the card. You imagine it's that simple when you've registered online. Mm. But for those who haven't quick. registered, very quick. For those who haven't registered, they have to sit and wait for the form. Those guys who want yeah, the form to register to do it them, for them. Then they went. It's a very skinny. And the window. registration process just is fast. Just go through it. It's, you first fill your normal details. Then you fill again your county, I don't know what, and then you fill an extra pin. I even what? take an extra pin. Hey, it's, a, it's, it's a form. Oh. It's, not a, it's, it's simple, but not that. It will take like five, ten minutes. And there's no at a problem with submit and all of that stuff. Like me, mine, it, when I does did it hang? Uh, I got, and then you get a message showing, uh, you get like a message showing you're registered. Uh, like mine today, when I tried to register to the portal, I couldn't. My what? password, I think, had a problem yesterday. Yesterday it registered, but today it refused. So I had to change my password. Oh, maybe because you had done it yesterday. Mm, and I don't know what I did. I, did, I don't even know how to register myself. Mm. So I changed the password. So if we were all doing the registration, at some point, some people couldn't register. Oh, yeah. On a laptop it, than uh, on the phone. Oh. So when they were doing it on the laptop, it was faster. But it was not because there were so many and all those mm, people And they managed, managed yeah. yeah. So it's a portal that's working quite well, actually. Yeah, they've done a good job. So then from there, after getting the job, like one, two hours later, I started feeling no, actually, almost immediately, I started feeling my neck funny. I wasn't sure on the side where I was jabbed. Oh. So I wasn't sure whether that was sleeping. Oh, you were imagining. My neck uh. had, wasn't feeling. If I was feeling my head a bit funny, me, I started reacting sooner than Greg. Mm. So I did it. Because mm. me, I started feeling funny here. When, after some time when we were walking Is down, it, uh, I didn't you feel it immediately. Uh, no, after some time. The thing you felt first. One felt... hour. When well, you know, we walked, we walked to church. By the time we were coming from church, me, I was feeling funny. Uh, I was feeling funny. And now me, I didn't want to tell you, so it was too long. I started to feel very tired. We went. Now, when we reached town, I started feeling half asleep. I'm feeling. I, your I don't, forehead. It's uh, not really a headache. Mm. Some funny feeling on this part. So we went to downtown and did shopping. Like, let's say, two hours, three hours down the line. Even her, she started feeling this yeah. thing. Because when now we came from, I told her, and it's the same eat. place here on then her she forehead. Asked me, are you starting to feel very tired? I told her, uh. has been feeling quite tired for a while. That's why I told you, we'll go and sit and eat. Mm. Maybe the eating will help. Oh, one thing we were told, because I asked him, so now that we got the job, what do we now do? What, yeah. He said nothing, that we just stay. Then I told him, we don't need medication. He said, no. And I've been hearing people are getting temperature. What do we do? He said, if you feel feverish, you can take paracetamol. Yeah. But hydrate. Uh, if you hydrate, yeah, you will not fluid, feel. You won't feel that yeah, thing. Yeah, that's why I okay. took water. I used to drink a lot of water. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that funny feeling you feel on the head. Mm. Then now, when I finished, I was feeling like I just want to come home. Mm. I'm tired. Tired, I'm yeah. Worried, like I might fall asleep. Mm. Then I, now when I was coming in the matatu, I even had to move and sit by the window because I started feeling funny. Worse again. Stuffy. Mm. But when I alighted from the matatu when I was walking, when I reached Kitty Road, I started feeling headache now. Big frontal headache. Mm. 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 And joints and anything, you're not feeling weird anywhere else okay. so That's far. Uh, it's, it's, but it's not a, not at least something serious. No, you're not no, feeling no, like dizzy, like you'll fall, fall or, or but just mild discomfort. Yeah. Even I've run again, okay. I don't look funny because I'm feeling you you look funny. like sleepish, like your eyes are reddish and uh, tired dish like yeah. Like sleepy, yeah. Like you look sleepy. You look sleepish. sleepish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The guy who had it brought it down here and he felt like sleeping. Mm. Mm. Okay. So let's see how it goes. We'll see, yeah. But we'll see by Kesha how it goes. Very well. Yeah. yeah we'll and even now you're feeling like you're about to have tea. Yeah, she's here, she has her snack, she's going to have something. Because another guy told me at Wangigi, him, he got his shot and he didn't feel anything. Mm. But his mom was ill and he was 85, she vomited. Mm, immediately. Mm, not, I don't know if she was mom immediately, but she vomited the first day. So, so in short, guys are reacting weirdly, yeah, differently. differently. Him, he felt nothing, but he was telling me you, felt you should eat, mm. according to him. That when you're taking any type of medicine, yeah. it, when you're hungry, it will react once. Before, yani. Yeah, just you eat have a eaten normal breakfast. Uh, don't say you're going there, then you, you won't eat. eat yeah. well. Because you're saying if you eat well, the mm. effects are it's less. Less your body can handle. Yeah. Because mm. <coughs> you're saying any medication when you've not eaten, it's going to be Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's what that makes do. sense. So guys, yeah. that's it. You've had it. If anybody's wondering about the jab, we'll see how she'll be feeling Kesho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll do part two, Kesho. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, good morning. This is Saturday, um, the 21st of August. The month is over. So I didn't mean manage to conclude the interview with Kim, but she's feeling okay. 
she still has a bit of joint pain a bit of weakness she has some tiredness on and off but basically for the most part she's fine there's no real serious side effect that she's had and this is like the third day now morning so she only took paracetamol the first night and she woke up slightly better and like that i think it helped co counter the side effects so for anyone who maybe is feeling worried about the side effects um there's that i gave you guys a real a live experience for you know ease of making the decision on what you want to do but um that is that that wasn't like the main you know that was just something to help guys make a decision if you're having a, pr a problem maybe coming up with whether you're going to guys have had very different reactions so you can't say that it's standard yeah but that was her experience thank you kim for sharing with us and yeah i will see you guys next time bye